Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy Grand Dizzy here. I'm back at it again. Now, if I don't get rained down today, I don't know when I'm gonna be rained on. <laughs> it hasn't happened in a long, long time, but. All of a sudden, the weather kind of changed, so... But I'm not worried, guys. I am not worried in any way because I'm fully protected. As far as uh, what I prove is concerned. If you really want to know exactly what I'm talking about, just go back and watch my videos regarding uh, my setup. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I just got back from the dentist today, so my voice is kind of, you know, some awkward, but it is what it is. We're gonna do this today. So, thank you so much for uh, joining me on this episode. That's your boy here, Grandizo. I hope everyone is doing okay. I'm doing well. I'm blessed. It's Friday. What else can you possibly ask for? It's Friday. Now, one thing that I know and I want to talk about is um, <laughs> if this video don't make me, definitely it's going to break me. I'm not saying... Um, I'm very well known here, but yeah, and before you start making any kind of comment, I myself, little background about me, I used to, uh, I used to be um, a federal contractor for almost 10 years, and even outside of that, I was um, a private security, and between all those careers that I had I was fully armed and dangerous Ooh, I love those words just turn in your bag and your weapon <laughs> I love those words but basically I have worked with firearms in the past and as a civilian and a citizen of this great nation I own a couple firearms in my house for self-defense and, uh, you know, just to uh, protect my family and friends. So, just know this little background, where I'm coming from, and then we can have this conversation. But guys, I'm so sorry about my teeth. It, it bothers me, but uh, I feel like uh, I'm very motivated to make this video. So if you hear me sound a little funny, just uh, pardon me. And um, this guy, man, did you guys see that? I almost run into him. <laughs> just now, caught on camera. Anyways, so if you guys hear me sound a little funny, just forgive me. Um, yeah, I'm a little in pain, but uh, whenever I get on these uh, two wheels, all the pains, all the troubles, everything goes away. So, but anyway, let's go back to the conversation that we're having here. Um, yeah, so before you uh, kind of make any comment that maybe Grant is scared of uh, firearms or, you know, anything of that nature, no, no. I own several firearms for self-defense, like I said. And I've worked with firearms for, I'll say, a good 15 years. More, probably. But this is something that bothers me, guys. It bothers me, and uh, hopefully someone here can give me an answer to this. Um, I don't know. Look at this guy here. Looks nice. 
Um, this this is something that has been bothering me for for quite some time, and I wanna I wanna bring it up here. I don't know. There might be a video out there. I haven't come across any video in regards to firearms and motorcycling. If it is, just leave a comment down below and I'll be so glad to watch that video. But as far as I'm concerned, I haven't seen any video like that online or anywhere else. So I'm hoping that someone will, will be gladly enough to, um, you know, give me some answer. But here's the deal. Anytime I ride down the road or I drive down the road and I will see a motorcyclist and they're strapped. And it bothers me, guys. It bothers the heck out of me. I don't know why. It bothers me. Because, I mean, I haven't been ridden for a very long time. I mean, I, I believe, um, I mean, I, I won't call myself as a pro rider by any means, but I, I had my motorcycle license, I think 2006 or so. I rode for quite some time and I quit and then I went back and I, uh, I went back at it again I quit and now here I am so I don't consider myself as a, a long time rider or any means I do have some experience uh, I used to drive 18 wheelers and I have about I'll say almost 4 million miles under my belt within my entire career. So, I think I qualify somewhat. But back to the question again, I, I, I see a lot of riders, especially in the state that I live in right now, a lot of them are strapped. And it bothers me because motorcyclists in general I guess now that I'm riding, I can say we, right? We have been classified as some kind of gangster. <laughs> Gangsters, you know? People don't like us. These guys riding on the roads, majority of them, they don't like motorcyclists because of some behaviors that some motorcyclists make and it, it affects all motorcyclists. You know, they see some of us as gangs, but if you go down very deep, 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 deep down, we have very good, decent people. We have all sort of people from all kind of backgrounds. You know, we have doctors, we have nurses, we have teachers, we have police officers. I mean, all sort of people, they, they ride. You know what I mean? So we are very decent people. We're not just like talks or, you know, things like that nature. But I believe if you're a cyclist and you're riding down the road and with all these little points that I've made and you still have strap, if I say strap, I mean firearm around your waist automatically they see you like uh, oh my god look at another one going you know what I mean but I think I, I can understand why some people may do that or do that it might be for a different reason I don't know and I'm hoping that uh, someone on here might be able to just you know answer that question for me um, personally the motorcycle is not dangerous it's the people behind the motorcycle that makes it dangerous if that makes sense just like someone would say guns are dangerous or guns kill people guns don't kill people 
is stupid people with guns hurt people or kill people. This motorcycle is just a tool. If you use it as intended, I don't think it's that dangerous, you know. But the point that I'm trying to make is referring to motorcycle being as dangerous is look at this guy here. We don't have no protection. You know, cars have airbags, they have seat belts. I can name all these safety stuff that our cars come with. Motorcycle, it's just you and the road. That's it. I know they saw some gears where you can actually wear in an airbag vest and all that kind of stuff, but still, the amount of protection that a car or a vehicle comes with it's nothing close to a motorcycle. So, being on a motorcycle itself, you just expose yourself, your safety, everything is in jeopardy. So, I can understand why maybe uh, people may uh, go into a pla uh, some places that they're not supposed to be there. Like the, the freak that they have uh, at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, stuff like that. So they may, uh, they might have a, a firearm for their own protection, you know. Like I, I don't understand why people ride motorcycle and carry guns with them. So if you're here and you you ride with a gun, just. Just drop a comment below. Tell me, explain to me why you ride with a gun. Personally, I, I don't get it. Like, this cycle here that I have, this motorcycle that I have here, it's a Harley Davidson Sportster S. This is a badass motorcycle. It's very, very aggressive. It, it's a badass. It's, it, and once you sit on there, you are also a badass. So, badass plus badass. And then if I have a, a, a gun on me, that's triple jitted badasses right there. And I become very vulnerable, you know? I don't remember the last time that I carried my firearm. I mean, I, I do go to the fire range with my family. I try to go there. Uh, once in a month Because back then when I was uh, active, you know, we do like three, every three months you have to qualify In order for you to keep carrying your firearm Look at this beautiful lake here guys Isn't that beautiful? Look at that Those houses down there huh, They're very close to the water Look at this one right here. So, like I was saying, when I was active, you have to go to the range every three months to qualify. If you don't qualify, you're gonna be active, but you, they're not gonna allow you to carry no firearm until you, you, you qualify. And then you can go ahead and carry a firearm. So I, I do go to the range. I shoot with my family, friends. But outside of that, I don't remember the last time that I actually, like, um, I carry a firearm with me. I don't care where I go. I am the weapon myself. So when I was serving, you know, working, let me tell you guys something, guys. I came across so many instances where I could have made a, I could have made a, a different decision altogether. And it could have turned a whole different direction. But I used the weapon that I have which is the knowledge that God gave me and my mouth 
to defuse situations. I remember there was only one time, one time, among all those years that I unhosed my weapon. And even that day, it was a matter of life and death. I'm not gonna say the name of the city, but if you know the emblem, the city of brotherly love, that's exactly where it happened. And that was the only time that I unhosed my weapon and I was actually going to use it. Um, but then when I came back to base, you know, you have to write a whole lot of uh, report and all that kind of stuff and you know. But thank God nothing happened because once you pull that trigger, you can never take it back. Never. Once you pull that trigger, it's over. So, I don't remember the last time that I carry, and I, I mean, I have license for concealed, CCW, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I have it, you know, and it's valid. And as a matter of fact, the state that I live in right now, they have an open, you know, carry. But I don't remember the last time I carried my weapon with me. Because like I said, I am the weapon myself, you know. Not every situation deserves uh, lethal force or anything like that nature. But unfortunately, some of these men and women out there, I don't know what the heck is going on, but some, you know, they do it and um, we all see the consequences. We all ended up paying for it. And if I know that I'm going to a place that I'm not supposed to be going, Maybe, but I, I never thought about it. And I'll tell you guys some funny story. Hear me out. When we first moved to down south, we went to church. Guys, the first time we went to church, the pastor in the pulpit was strapped. And that thing bothered the heck out of me. So, I, I felt very uncomfortable, like, I, I'm in the house of God. Well, what are we doing with guns here, in the, in the, you know? And not only the pastor, guys. We have armed securities all over the church. So when I came home, my neighbor, I went to him and I'm like, I saw something today at church and it kind of bothered me a lot. But he knew what I do, you know, so he just listened to my conversation and pretty much gave me an answer. He had a very patient with me, listened to all what I have to say and gave me a perfect answer. And all that he said was, uh, do you remember what happened in Charleston? If one member of the church had a weapon maybe the number of casualty wouldn't have been worse immediately that he said that I, 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 I like you know what you're right you're right and he was like don't let this bother you because here in the south you're gonna see that a lot and it's true pretty much every church you go everywhere like I go to Walmart you see guys strapping, but that, that I don't care. That's just, uh, you know, people's uh, opinion and uh, their personal choices and whatever they feel like doing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. My thing is, why do people strap and write at the same time? Already, we have been tagged as bad people. You know, motorcyclists are thugs the gangsters, you know, this and that and that. And I believe adding like extra firearm just makes the matter worse. But I guess if you have to use it to protect yourself, I can appreciate that. And I will do the same thing too. 
Um, but if you know why people ride and use firearms, strap with the firearms, please, please share with me. I have seen a few situations in traffic where uh, a road range and it's a car versus a bike and I, I see people you know trying to retaliate on a bike versus a car guys your chances of winning it's it's very zero like you stand you stand no chance to win on a road rage with a car but I've seen some people do it so I can imagine maybe um, they've experienced something in the past where um, if, if, uh, if a, a, a car rider, a road share, whatever, if they see the firearm on them, it, it will stop, it will stop um, them from being aggressive towards them or by it. I, I, I don't know. I've seen some before, I've witnessed some before, and that, that could be the reason. But the last thing that I do when I'm on the bike is to have any form of confrontation with some idiot in a car or a truck. Like, I have no protection. They ran into you, done deal, you're done. I mean, you, you, you're done, you toasted, you know? So, if someone knows the reason why, like, people ride, with guns and you know I, I, I would love to know and it bothers me and it's gonna keep bothering me until maybe you know I come to a, an understanding but personally and maybe you know people might be in a in a motorcycle club which I'm not saying there's something wrong with um you know being a, a club or anything like that I'm not against that I just um I just happen to ride solo you know so, people do things for different reasons, you know, and I would love to know the reason why, if you're, if you're on here, you're watching this video, and uh, you ride and strap at the same time, maybe you live in a bad city, where you have to have that extra protection on you, uh, to feel safe and secure. Um, I was uh, watching uh, one of the videos of uh, one of the vloggers where it was a female and she stated that um, she kind of, um, her bike broke down and she was stranded in a remote area. Um, in that situation, I can understand why you, you would need, or you may need to carry a firearm with you, you know. Uh, and then maybe in some situations that I'm probably giving myself the answers, you know, but it, it, it just bothers me. It bothers me anytime I see it. And I ask myself, like, why? Why do people do that? Like, is there something that I'm missing? Or something that I, I should know? Because at the end of the day, if I carry a, a firearm and it's going to help me stay safe, I would definitely do it. Maybe I just don't know the reason, but, or maybe it's because of my background. Like I said, I've seen bad things happen to my part, some of my partners, my, you know, my coworkers, like right in front of my face. I have experienced some bad stuff too, you know? It's only by the grace of God that I'm still living. So, I could be wrong. I know maybe some people will bash me about this video or, you know, like I said, this video may make me or break me. I, I don't know. It's just uh, something that bothers me and I wanted to know, you know, and uh, I will be so glad if you know the answer and you want to share with me. It might be someone watching and probably wondering the same thing. So guys, why do people run, uh, ride with firearms? I don't even want to use the word. They're strapping. And 
it's not that I'm afraid of guns. Oh, uh, I'm an anti uh, Second Amendment. No, I own, I don't know, 10, 12 different types of firearms. So, you know, I love my people. <laughs> I love them. Like I said, I take them to the range at least once a month. On a very good month that I have more time, I try to do it twice a month. Everyone in my family can shoot, you know, for self-defense. So I am in no way, shape, or form that I'm against it. No, I'm not against it. It just bothers me because, you know, one uh, bad apple destroyed a bunch. It could be, you know, it could be. And I don't know uh, if, you, if you're here and uh, you carry one, maybe your, your experience, you know, your exposure, something might have led you to do what you're doing. I don't know. I would love to know why people carry a firearm while they ride. Like I said, this bike here, it looks intimidating. It's a badass. People see it, they be like, whoa, that look like a Batman or, you know, it's just, the aesthetics of this bike looks very intimidating. And personally, I look intimidating myself too. I'm very well built. With fairly nice muscles. I'm no, not, not gonna flex or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you get the point. You get the point. So, if you know why people do that, please do share with me. If you hear, and you're watching and you also strap and ride at the same time yeah do, do share with me I want to know your reason all right so I'm gonna leave you guys here and uh, enjoy this beautiful weather it looked like the rain was coming but I guess it stopped which is a good thing so thank God for that I'm gonna ride home. I don't wanna get caught in the rain because I don't have no jacket or anything. Um, but yeah, I would love to know your opinion about this topic. Why do people ride with guns strapped on their waist? Hey, have a great day and enjoy your holiday. Thank you so much.